Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. With the market being as mudded as it is, so many people are waiting for team of the season, myself included, to see a very low point on the market where we have an opportunity to buy cards and maybe see some prices go back up. But when is that time going to be? When is this market no longer going to be mudded? That's what I want to talk about in today's video, especially after yesterday's team of the season Premier League voting opened and we didn't have any news about tots warm-up series we don't have any market panic continuing the market's kind of chilled out a little bit so i want to talk about that in today's video what's going to happen if we don't get team of the season this friday and it ends up being next friday because that's definitely going to impact prices probably in a positive way this week now with this week maybe being a quiet week what could tuesday's content look like today there could still be some spicy things in store so we're going to cover all that and more in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new, let's do a little content overview from yesterday. We had an 80-plus player pick SBC on this game. We had the 81-pluses last week. We had the 80-pluses this week. And I have to say, I'm disappointed with these. Not because of the price, but because of the weight. Man, we were doing some of these on stream yesterday. I think I did a solid set of, I don't know, maybe like seven to ten of them and guys in the chat were doing them as well and they just seem to not be very good of course you have your one-offs that are really good i'm turning in rares because rares and non-rares are basically the same price so don't at me for that but most of these have been just so mid i mean in 83 that's that's not that amazing you know you're hoping for like last week we had so many 84s 85s 86s and such that that's just disappointing compared to the player picks that we had last week during team one so that was a bit of a disappointment yesterday but still it's an upgrade pack player pick that is there to do we also had another upgrade pack we had the 84 times 7 sbc if i can get all the way back here to find it and it is going to refresh every single day it's a little expensive and i think it's turning people away for the fact that you have to turn in an 87 rated squad and inform and an 80 or sorry 87 rated player and inform and an 85 squad to get this done it's coming in at around a price of 75,000 coins, which does seem a little bit expensive, but just like the 8315 from last week, it is very craftable and you can rinse it into the next one. We're going to be able to do one of those each and every day on this game. It did impact some fodder. First of all, since there was a team of the week requirement, some of those team of the week cards are rising up a little bit in price. If I were you guys on the fodder that's rising right now, team of the weeks, um, 84s are up a little bit, 86s, 87s, with that 87 rated player requirement you can see these guys are going up i would not be selling these yet because that 84 times 7 refreshes every single day look at your from 19k all the way to 24,000 coins for some of these 87 rated cards 84s are approaching 4k because since you're turning in an 87 rated in the squad and you need an 85 rated squad you're going to end up needing some 85s but also a good amount of 84s because you have that 87 rated player that's in there pushing the squad rating up so that's why 84s to 87s are going up on this market i would hold those and sell later on in the next couple of days because again like we said this 84.7 refreshes every 24 hours, and people are doing those. Whether you're saving for team of the season, whether you're opening, trying to pack a Titans uh, icon or a Titans hero card, which I did see a couple people packing yesterday, uh, those are very popular, you know, gamble upgrade pack SBCs, and honestly, they are pretty cheap. So that was kind of, uh, you know, an L content day, pretty quiet day yesterday. Now, the biggest news was... The fact that we had Premier League Tots voting. Also, I don't know why EA rebranded this to be like pink on the website. I like the blue, but here we are with the pink. Premier League Tots voting. A lot of you guys have maybe casted your vote. My vote's on Twitter. Um, you know, some very interesting, as always, interesting nominees in here. And some people will say, well, Nate, where's De Gea? And where are all those cards that we saw in the Community Tots vote? Those are two completely different teams. Some people are wondering where some players are, especially like midfielders. Uh, names that were shouted that were not included in the vote. Thomas Partey. Some people thought Bruno Fernandez should have been in the vote. Attackers, a lot of people thought uh, Ivan Tony should have been in the vote as well instead of somebody maybe like maybe Albin Rowan should not have been in there, Darwin Nunez or Kai Havertz. A lot of people are like, why is Kai Havertz in there? But again, I like how EA did this vote with the Premier League Tots. There's a lot fewer players to choose from, and I think that they've done a good job here of releasing a list that is pretty solid, right, with um, guys that perform pretty well during the year, guys that deserve it, but also, you know, 
a lot of names in there so that we have some decisions and we have some choices for some really cool cards that we could see in FIFA. So make sure you get your votes in because this is only up for two more days until the 20th. That's when this is going to be going away. So with this vote, though, like we talked about in yesterday's video, there were some market drops. And if we take a look at our Golden Bappe, like we always do, just because Golden Bappe is the barometer of this market, he did drop off in price yesterday. You can see, right, he was 392. There was some panic selling on some cards yesterday heading into content. Some cards went up. A lot of Italian and Serie A links went up a lot yesterday and are even going up even more today with the Benucci SBC being such a big hit. But Mbappe went from 390 all the way to 370. He's kind of now back up at 390,000 coins. But you saw that a little bit yesterday with this TOTS voting. It kind of got the news about Team of the Season out a little bit more, especially for some guys that were in the vote that maybe weren't expected to be in. Darwin Nunez hit a low yesterday of 384. I don't know if he was expected to be in the Team of the Season vote. So that did impact some prices negatively in that manner. Uh, I saw like Martinelli was another one that um, who... I actually had on my transfer list and was trading with at the time, his card dropped off a bit after content yesterday because he was in the vote, right? He went down to a low point of 320. He did rebound back up uh, because the content yesterday wasn't that crazy, but you did see some panic. Now, on the other side of things, you know, you know, there was no Van Dyke in the defense, and I think that for a lot of people was not a surprise, but since he was not in that vote, Virgil Van Dyke his price on all of his special cards exploded. 1.85, besides this undercut, is the price of Team of the Year Van Dyke right now. Look at his graph yesterday. Panic selling all the way till content. He was 1.68. He exploded to 1.8 mil, and he just keeps rising. His other cards are going up as well. This card was like 700K, 6, or 798, all the way down to 925, or all the way up, rather, to 900 and almost 50 thousand coins. So that's kind of like the two tails of the tape that played out yesterday is that cards that were in the voting maybe dropped off a little bit. Some of the rest of the market had another slight drop off heading into the day yesterday, but the content and the news was rather lackluster. So you actually had some cards start to go back up. And as we head into today on Tuesday, that's what I want to talk about next is some of these prices are going up, like some of these fantasy cards that are getting upgraded. I picked up Oop Meccanos, a couple of them at 180,000 coins, because I figured this guy might be going up with the upgrades upcoming, um, and he is going up, in fact. Now, center backs are still down bad, and they still are in the mud. As we look across the market, prices are in the mud, right? Are they going to stay that way if we don't learn anything about team of the season? I think my answer to that question is, yeah, if this week is just a quiet week and we don't learn anything about TOTS, if TOTS does not end up being this Friday on this game, that was a crazy low bid on this Ruben Diaz, 514K. That's very lucky. Um, he's getting an upgrade, and that's super duper low for him. But if we don't see any team of the season loading screens or news that would suggest TOTS is this Friday, the market's probably going to start to rebound back just a little bit. But... Again, I would not say that's a low point for us to maybe look at cards to invest for a longer term through TOTS or to buy players for our teams that we really want for card prices that have gone down so much because it really, for me, comes down to whenever TOTS is going to be, a few days before that, when we get the official leaks, the official information, that's going to be the crunch time where we have that last bit of panic selling. That's going to be the catalyst, I think, for like the best part of the market crash to really um, dip your coins into and buy players then. So if that is not this week, now it could be. We, not, we don't know, right? We're still looking towards that website that we looked at yesterday on the Community Tots webpage. It still says, come back in late April. Now in pink instead of blue, as we looked at it yesterday. But late April, right? To me, that could mean the 21st or the 28th. But it's more and more likely that it could be the 28th. Um, because that does seem more like a late April type of time frame. We have no leaks. We have no loading screen or anything like that. So I'm still up in the air on what date it's going to be. But the 28th seems a bit more likely at the moment based on how things went yesterday. So I do believe the market could chill out this week and it could bring a couple good opportunities for trading. Now, as we kind of saw on the weekend as well, right? We saw some prices do really well on the weekend. There was a lot of panic in the middle of the week last week with TOTS and with the good SBC content that we had. But then Friday, Saturday, stuff kind of went up a little bit. Right now, it's kind of coming back down again and we're still overall in a market low. But you see, I got some lazy sales here. Emre Chan is like 170,000 coins 
This one I had listed up for 220, got a lazy sale. You're seeing some nice fluctuations on the Trophy Titans cards that are in packs. I bought that Gerard at 310, sold it at 347. So there's been good fluctuations on the market, especially after content yesterday. That to me shows signs of, you know, not as much scared and, and panic feeling on the market as there maybe was a couple of days ago. So as long as we don't get a big, you know, leak or a big loading screen today, right? Tuesdays are sometimes loading screen days. As long as we don't get something like that today, I think the market will continue to do well. I'm not saying it's time to buy for a hold, but it could be a time where if you want to go try somebody out, you see a low price, you think, okay, maybe this guy is going to start bouncing back in value because he's been so low over these past couple of days because of like, you know, Bonucci or whatever it may be, you know, that could be something that you watch out for. Maybe it's a card you just want to flip, right? Trading should be pretty good. And then of course, if you, if you take a look at your, um, Serie A cards. Serie A cards are like going bananas on this game right now because everybody is doing Benucci and they are linking him in their squads. Raspadori is an interesting one. There's kind of a two-sided tail here. He's going up because of the links, right, to Benucci and the Serie A links, but at the same time, there's some big games today. Let's move on talking about Tuesday content today and what to expect on this game. First of all, we've got Champions League games back on the docket and we've got guys that are kind of relying on their team's performance today to get upgrades in FIFA. Wesley Fofana is up about 10,000 coins from where he was, 184k. Chelsea at home trying to do something very difficult down 2-0 to Real Madrid. So watch out for that. Of course, on the flip side, Alaba's price is up. He's like a million coins back to a mill. There's probably not going to be that much movement on a guy like Alaba today since they're the favorites, right? If they were to score first, his price is probably not going to go up that much. Now, for a guy like Fofana, there's a lot more upside because if Chelsea were to score an early goal first, then that might make people want to go back on the market and say, hey, these guys might actually do it. There's a chance, and you could see his price going up. So that's something to watch out for today. Same thing with Raspadori. The thing I don't like about Raspadori's card right now is that he was 120,000 coins before the Benucci was dropped. And, uh, you know, I think his price is a little bit inflated right now because of the Benucci. I think we have to be careful with that, noticing that, of course, they do have a chance to come back and win today. It's not going to be easy. Uh, but Napoli and Milan, right? I mean, they've got a shot. So it's a 1-0 game, and they are playing at home. So that's big. And we'll see if they can do it today. I know a lot of people are rooting for Napoli in this game. But just keep an eye on that. Of course, the Brahim Diaz on the flip side of the coin. The upgrades are not for whoever wins the game. It's for whoever moves on. So there is a plus one, and I think it might be three traits as well, uh, if you advance to the next round of Champions League. So there are three traits and a plus one on the line today for these cards in this game. Now, other live cards, I mentioned the fantasies, right? And yesterday, we had a big result and a big game for Liverpool, but also for the live cards that are representing Liverpool. Jota, Diogo Jota, is right now a 90-rated card. He scored a goal um, and assisted in yesterday's game, so he met the two-goal or assist requirement over the course of these six weeks. He is going to be getting a plus two since they also won. That was Liverpool's first win since this card has been released. So Jota is going to go to a 90 Two rated card. Now he was down a little bit post game at like 190k, and now he is back up. He's about 210,000 coins. This guy getting a plus two, it's going to be pretty big. He's four star, five star. It's going to look like a really, really cracked card. I think that the fantasy upgrades might be today on Tuesday. That's when they upgraded them last week. There's really not that many league games today. There's only a, a small few. I think Rashika might be the only fantasy card that has a league game today on Tuesday. So with Champions League being this week, I could see these, these cards upgraded at some point today on Tuesday. I could also see it tomorrow. So watch out for some price fluctuations, guys like Upa, guys like uh, Ruba Diaz, Emre Chan, right? Emre Chan's getting a plus one. Uh, he's 170,000 coins right now. Jota's getting that plus two. So keep a close eye on some of those cards that are getting upgraded today because they could be good movements on the market. Now for the rest of content today, what else are we going to see? Now, we talked about in yesterday's video. Today, you know, we might see that Figo SBC. We had Carlos Alberto Perez and Raul in the past week. Seems like we have had a ton of Icon SBCs. We might be getting one more with that five-star skills Figo. 
I don't think that would impact the market that much. Maybe watch out for some of your Portuguese links if there's some extra demand there. But even there, I wouldn't expect the demand to be that crazy since that's a Figo card that's been out in the game for a very long time. And I just don't know how much hype there's going to be for a ton of people to sprint out to the market to get his SBC done or to the SBC section to get that done right away today. But I do think it might be an okay day for the market. The only thing, like I said, is very few times, but sometimes... EA drop loading screens on Tuesdays, and it usually is before big promos. So there's a little chance today that there could be a loading screen. We'll be watching for it today on the content drop stream, but that is going to be something to watch out for there. And one last thing I want to talk about with SBC fodder heading into team of the season is a lot of you guys have been asking me, Nate, should I buy high rated fodder? High rated fodder looks so low from where it's been, right? 91s. Yeah, we remember last week, two weeks ago, these guys were like 70,000 coins plus, right? I mean, 80, 90K for some of these cards that were out of packs and they are down so bad. The thing here with this high rated fodder is during team of the season every year, there are so many high rated cards released in team of the season from the secondary leagues, like uh, even in community te team of the season and even in the, in the main leagues as well, like from the Premier League and Bundesliga, the high rated fodder gets supplied so much there are so many new 90 91 92 rated cards that get put onto the game that all this fodder just drops in price because it's just oversupplied and it's oversaturated so if tots is this week i do think the 89 plus rated fodder will probably end up dropping unless we get some sort of like icon pack that would be a big surprise later on in the week um but if it is not this week and it's next week maybe there's one more icon pack that ea would drop like next weekend before tots would actually start that could make some of this stuff go up for like one last rise before it would probably fall lower so in this case right now i would not invest in high rated fodder if you have it i would try to sell it to lazies because there are a lot of great sbcs that are out right now you know the hero player pick a lot of the big player of the months a lot of the big player sbcs like the icons Try to lazy sell it, try to get it out um, because I do think it can go lower. But again, we really a lot of this still on this game, the way the market is feeling and the way the content is feeling, it all is really dependent upon what news we learn about team of the season. And guys, right now, we just don't know that much. And that's kind of concerning, but also at the same time, it's kind of like... Okay, you know, a lot of times before we have these really big promos, it feels like we want the promo to be here like this, but EA kind of take their time and they let the game simmer down a little bit. And then it just kind of in its own right, I think builds the hype for the next promo a little bit, but it's also a little bit annoying on our part because we're like, we just want the promo to be here. So just kind of watch out for today on Tuesday. It might be a quiet day besides Figo, but we'll have to see. And it might just be a really good day to trade, right? If you're trying to make some coins before team of the season does end up uh, happening on this game, like I'm going to try to get this Benzema on a really low bid right now. Hop on the bids, guys. Bids are so OP. I think a lot less people want to trade right now in this game. This Benzema is right now about a million coins. So if I can snag this for 900K, I'll be able to flip this, make some good profits. And the bids are a great place to do that on this game. We're going to have a specific trading base video coming out later this week because I know a lot of you guys want to make some more coins before a team of the season. And I want to teach you guys and talk to you guys a little bit more about how to do that as well. But I'm going to try to win this Benzema bid and I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on a comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.